Last week I didn't really do a proper developer blog, so here's some ladders, some siege towers, ballistas, catapults, and of course some Age of Empires 2 shitposting memes. But this week we're going to go into more of the maps from Mountain Blade 2 Battlelord, and specifically castles. So of course, from Mountain Blade, they've tried to take a lot of things from the real world and making it into their whole fantasy Caradia style. So there's a lot of use of real world cultures, and it gives them the advantage to have a wealth of historical sources and knowledge and take influence, and they can kind of cherry pick which bits they use and which bits they don't use. So they don't want it to be ultra realistic, but they want to take a lot of inspiration from real life castles and places. Now, we do know from the single player campaign that there is an upgrade system and you're able to customize your castles somehow, and we get a bit more of an in-depth look at this. So this is how the upgrade system works. So in Banlord, you have a big variety of different things that you can do. Apart from the additional depth that it brings to the campaign, it's used to create different experiences when you're actually attacking in the game in the battles as well, or even defending these castles. Now, of course, castles start at level 1, as you might expect, and they can be upgraded twice, and this will reach their maximum level at level 3. But what do these upgrades do, you shout, scaring my small garden gnome? And this is the answer. The upgrades, they can do things like make your castle taller, so there's probably be harder to get siege towers and ladders up there. You can have more dominant towers, better positions to deploy defensive machines, deeper walls at critical points, so a lot stronger like big Russian babby, and you're also able to put larger troop formations on the walls there because there's of course more room and greater coverage over its gatehouse and additionally the opportunity to deploy layered defenses which is a nice touch as well so you're able to customize not only how you attack not only your armies but the castles you defend and take over as well obviously as you might expect it's a lot harder to attack a level 3 castle than it would be a level 1 castle hence all the upgrading we don't know how much this is going to cost if it's going to be a late game thing but i suspect of course level 1 is what you're going to be starting with and then about five or so hours to a level 2 and of course a few more to a level 3. I don't think it's going to be a massively long time to get to the maximum level, but you know, who knows at this point. But there are two main ways of attacking a castle if you're sieging them. You can either sit back and command your army to its maximum potential from the rear. <coughs> <clears throat> or you can fight on the front line and create opportunities for your troops to exploit. So yeah, it's more of a sit back, use strategy and commanding to win the day. You can see where all your troops get and get the best vantage point, whether it's on a hill or even just at the sidelines. Tell your troops which points to attack and how to defend, of course, as well. Or you can go the more warband approach and slaughter the peasants up close, which I think is going to be maybe the preferred of most people, but you can mix and match and choose how you fight your battles in Mountain Blade 2 Battle Mode. But thank you guys for watching, that is the end for this developer blog, I really hope you enjoyed it, it's been some time, but I am trying to make a video, if um, I can, but yeah, once again, if you want to support the channel, really helps if you go and click the link in the description, there's a Games Planet link, we can get games and I get a small kickback from it as well, and my Patreon is really recommended at the moment, since I'm not uploading too much for various issues, I've made a video on that, so that really helps keeping everything going, but thank you guys for watching, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.